Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today I've got kind of a preview video of what's coming up on the channel. Sorry about that, guys. I am kicking everything and moving everything, and um, I'm just excited. I'm excited about these two frames. You know, I love Neato, and um, the quality of the product that they put out over there is just absolutely phenomenal. And so um, this customer is a Neato freak. Um, he has it pretty much every one of their frames. And so um, we're excited to get these going. And so let's get on to what we have here. The first one here is the Neato X Talon. This is a true X and this is a four inch version. And so we're excited to get it. I've already spec'd it out, but I'm waiting for the parts to come in. Once the parts come in on both of these and we'll do a build out video and um, probably do quite a few part video on the Talon, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But let's get on this little X here and do some measurements. You know, when we talk about True X, um, for people who are kind of new or, or don't really know what we're talking about, what we're ta saying is a True X is going to be the same, you know, front to back and side to side. So if I measure these, op this, these openings here, and just roughly... You know, it's one, probably 145. It's going to be exactly the same front to back, okay? And so that's what we're talking about. And the advantage of that is in the air, the pitch and the roll authority is basically I identical for the most part. You know, you do have... Um, on some of them, you may have some weight that are that are extended out a little bit more on the pitch axis but um it really makes for something that it's going to react the same you know pitch and roll is going to be very predictable and so um, for freestyle that can be really good uh, there's a lot of guys that race these that absolutely love them and so that's what we're talking about on this you can mount the um battery on bottom or you can choose to mount it on top and see here the slots for mounting it this has kind of a cool it also has kind of a cool little option here this is a soft mounted fpv antenna little 3d printed piece and what it does it allows you to mount your antenna right out the back here and it kind of has some strain relief and if you if something was to break, it's going to be this little piece here, and it's a very inexpensive piece, and you can kind of keep those on hand. And so that was that was really smart of them to do over there. And um, you, if you want to mount them on on top, you still have that option. Um, on some frames, it's not a problem, you know. Um, and sometimes it is. It just depends on how hard you hit, and different frames can be a little different. So, um, you know, that's, that's just kind of depending on kind of what you want. It really does look nice when you mount those antennas on top. Um, but, but this is a great, great option. And, you know, the nice thing also, they really go into really a lot of thought and into how things should be. And so they give you this little access area in here where you can, um, you can mount your VTX under it and have plenty of room to get to the controls. Okay. So that's really nice. And so, you know, we've got this beautiful U here. No, it's an N, <laughs> but, um, so we're going to get this one. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. We're going to get this one built up and this should be a really fun flyer. Let's move on to the next one. And I am really excited about this. And this is the Neato. Widowmaker, and the Nita Widowmaker is a V tail, and when I say V tail, we're we're basically talking about this. If you see, if you can see, the rear arms are in kind of a V configuration. Can you see that, guys? Of course, you can. And so what that does is when you're flying, it gives some gives really a lot of authority to turn in. And so um, you can see if you were to, you know, if you were to drop this motor in RPM and bring this one up, it's going to really turn that really quickly. And so that's one of the advantages of the V-tail. 
Um, they're a little harder to set up just because the tune is a little bit different. Um, but you know, with, with beta flight 3.3.0 and, um, you know, some of the settings that they have kind of preloaded there, it's not too bad. The build side of it, I don't think it's going to be any harder. You know, we are going to take some time on this one and the customer really wanted, wants this to be just almost a showpiece and um he's gonna fly it but he wants it to be just kind of highlight how beautiful this thing is and I felt the same way when I saw it I was just like oh this has got to be something that we um here at X Frames I wanted to take my time the customer's right on board with it and you know, it's my customer here in California and he's so great about you know, wanting things, wanting to kind of respect all the thought and preparation that went into the design of this. And we're going to absolutely do that. Uh, this is also the customer that we did the Dallas in the, in the kind of Jamaican flag colors. So this is going to be the same, um, same layout. We're going to do both of these in, in those colors. And we're going to really take our time and do some S extra special things here on the V tail. And let's see here. Pretty straightforward. Um, you know, they did go with a three millimeter, I believe. Let's double check that. I believe this is a three millimeter on here. Yep. And let me get a measurement from motor to motor. No, I can't. It's too wide. This is a five inch. So, um, and it will have a top mounted battery. And again, they give you the place, and it's even two places because some people mount their VTX up towards the front. Some of them mount them in the back. But this allows you to get to all the buttons, and that's so good. Again, the carbon fiber is beautiful, well, well thought out build and design, and the execution meaning the how well the carbon fiber is is machined. The quality of the carbon fiber, you know, they put every attention to detail is gone into this thing. And so, and that's just the way it is with, with Neato stuff in general. Um, and that's why when I saw this, I just, number one, it is going to take a little longer. It's a little bit more complicated of a build. Um, and then just the tune, I want to get a really good tune on it. So, um, yeah, we're going to we're going to make this thing as beautiful as it is lethal and we'll get it get it all built out. I'm specking it out as as kind of we speak. I pretty much have everything. Um I may want to do a couple of changes as I'm looking at it and my customers just so supportive of of kind of the kind of the goal and what we want to do with this V-tail. So that's really about it. You know, I think uh, both these are going to be running the Evolution Radio. Um, let you know, guys, you know, those the IA6C receiver has been out of stock for quite a while to Global um, Warehouse. And they are, I checked today, and they are in stock. So I bought quite a few. So if you guys have been waiting for them to come back in, go back over to HobbyKing.com, and they are in stock. Um but you know, I'm excited to get these going. I'm excited to get um to get get this one just taking my time. I'm excited to get this to my customer. I'm thankful that those that we're getting kind of some some stock on receivers um for these evolution radios because I have quite a few builds going for this customer. And so um, I think it's something that he's going to be excited to. I know he ordered quite a few as well because he wanted to make sure that we don't have this delay as we do. I mean, I've got one of his builds that have been sitting here for a week and a half completed, just waiting for a receiver. And that's hard. That's a hard thing to take. It really is. So guys, I appreciate you and, um, all your comments and the respect that you have for each other and myself on the channel. And, and I really appreciate it. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave it in the comment section. You can check out my website, xframesfpv.com and that's xframesfpv.com. And there you can get an idea of kind of the builds that I do and what's available. So again, guys, Check out Neato and, and what they have to offer over there and, and keep your eyes out for what's coming up in the next couple of weeks.
Thanks so much, and I hope you have a chance to fly.